Are you ready for your first act? Yeah. Cool. So we're going to bring on Katie Gill Williams in a sec. On three, make it feel very welcome. One, two, three, go! Yeah. Let's have a stage! I don't know why I've dressed as a 12-year-old girl, but um, <laughs> what's really good about this dress is if anyone tries to fuck me, I know what their type is. Um, <laughs> illegal. <laughs> um, I do like to tell them I'm 12 halfway through as well, just to, <laughs> just to keep it spicy. Um, it's so nice. I actually studied here. I went to um, John Moore's, not the clever one, um, <laughs> because I grew up in Widnes. Yes, I'm a fucking wool. <laughs> Um, but I did leave Witness because I didn't want to marry my own brother. Um, <laughs> but no, it's lovely. Um, I've, I've just changed my name, so it was nice to kind of be like, yes, Katie Gill Williams, because it was a big thing. I was going to be like Katie Williams, but I just thought, God, that just, to me, sounds like a slag who will beat you up outside of a nightclub. Um, and, you know, I'm not violent at all. Um, and I'm not much of a slag, actually. Um, I, I'm <laughs> I wanted to be. Um, <laughs> But I've got a seven-year-old daughter now, and I'm, I'm trying to pass on to her, like, just lap it up, love, when you're older. Just take it all. <laughs> but you know what fucked it up for me, right? Um, does anyone remember Dawson's Creek? Yes. Oh, fuck. You did you love it? Who, who did you, like, like in Dawson's Creek? Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, it started off as, uh, yeah, Pacey for me. And then now it's Michelle Williams. She's fucking hot. Um, but no, Dawson's Creek. So if you don't know what it was, it was like a show about teenagers who just wanted to bang. Um, and the teenagers were played by like 37 year olds. Um, but they were so angsty with each other and the lives are so simultaneously intertwined. I don't know who I am without you. And then um, I was like, went on my first date in Witness. I was thinking, fucking hell, this is what's going to happen to me. Um, <laughs> And we, <laughs> we stopped and we were about to, you know, have that moment. And he looked at me and he's like, Katie, do you want me to finger you while we snog? <laughs> um, I let him anyway. <laughs> I just think there's something really cute about a guy who asks for consent. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's really sweet. Um, but yes, I have moved. I, I moved to uh, North Wales about nine years ago. At the time, I just needed a change of smell. Um, so I now live in a posh part of North Wales and do you want to know how uh, we know it's posh? Because we're by the water but there's no fucking arcades, yes please. <laughs> um, and you know, it's, it's really like cool where I live, there's these people called Llamberis babes, okay? So a Llamberis babe is someone who climbs fucking Snowdon as if she's just walking, right? She's got like a top knot, doesn't need fucking makeup and her sports bra are just for a tits at the front. Um, <laughs> And I, I really, I really want to be like one of them. I just, I'm, so I've done these climbing lessons with this couple. Um, it sounds a bit wicker man, doesn't it? But so I've started climbing lessons with this couple and I get really nervous um, sometimes when I'm doing something out of my comfort zone. So rather than just articulating, that for the first session I had my period and I wanted to be like, listen, I'm in a harness and I've got a sanch towel on and clothes. I had some clothes on as well. Um, and I wanted to say to her like, just keep an eye out, you know, just, you know, just keep an eye out. But what came out was, I looked her in the eyes and I said, can you just keep an eye on my crotch? Because I've got, <laughs> I've got a lot going on down there. <laughs> um, I, <don't, laughs> I had to climb with her for a few more hours after that. I was mortified. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, the Welsh language. Does, does everyone know that people speak Welsh in Wales? <laughs> yes? No? I mean, don't admit it, because you will look like nationalists. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm a Welsh learner, and um, I'm not amazing, but I, s I talked a Welsh nationalist into bed, right? And a Welsh nationalist's not like someone who will invade a country. They're like <laughs> quite friendly people. Um, so what I... <laughs> shit, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna be poisoned later, aren't I? <laughs> Dressed as a 12-year-old girl as well. Um, so, this, um, so this guy, I spent the night kind of just dropping in some Welsh words. You're going to learn some Welsh now. So the first thing I said to him was like, Anna Berniaith, which means independence. And the next thing I said was, Cofiwch which 
for you people of Liverpool, is in memory of a town that was flooded so the Scouse could have water. Um, I don't know what that was about, but he, but he had a kink about it. And then when it got really filthy, I just spoke English to him and he fucking loved that. <laughs> um, but part way through, I gave it away because when I came, I said, um, yes, he maur manifari, which means big Jesus, bloody hell. Um, which is a really weird Catholic guilt. Uh, it's weird because I'm not Catholic. Um, and he had, do you know what? He had a face that we all do after we've nailed a full English. Um, he, there was just guilt and shame. Guilt and shame. Um, I work for the church as well. Um, I do, not on the God side. But, you know, I've been there four years and I've done fuck all. Uh, the nicest thing is, though, they forgive me. Um, but it's nice to work somewhere where you're appreciated. I uh, have been made redundant twice on maternity leave, guys. Twice. You should have more of a reaction. It's 2022. <laughs> Twice on maternity leave. And, um, you know, the first time I was like, fuck yeah, we're going to take you to court. And then I was like, shit, I can't afford it. <laughs> um, and then the second time I was like, I'm not, not going to say anything because you know that fable, the woman who cried maternity discrimination. <laughs> it's not like the boy who cried wolf because I think he was believed the first time. <laughs> But no, it is lovely. Um, and <laughs> what happened after my redundancies was, I was like, I'm going to be a fucking feminist. Um, I'm like a proper white woman, you know, like, oh, now it's affected me. I'm going to really be into it. Um, so I had it tattooed on me and everything. So this says um, Semper Femina, which means always woman. Not a Tampax brand. Um, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to get into fucking feminism. But of course, like, my route into feminism wasn't, like, the cool route in at all. Like, if I could describe it as one way, it's the same way as I got into masturbation, which was like through a bad bout of thrush. Um, <laughs> let's call it an itchy wank. <laughs> I know I feel like if I was a real feminist, I'd be able to label all the parts, um, know what bit feels good. But it's just like, I think women have such shit sex because we, we just don't give out really good directions. Like, we all know where fucking Ikea Warrington is, right? <laughs> it's because it's well signposted. Like, if we could just discuss the proper names, you could be like, right, you just go straight up the vulva, <laughs> pass the labia, stop for a drink, if you want. <laughs> uh, take a turn at the clitoris. <laughs> have a nice time. Come and visit a few times a month. That would be nice. Um, <laughs> But no, so like I'm trying to, to like, this is gonna sound so fucked up. <laughs> I'm trying to like insti <laughs> instill into my daughter the cor <laughs> correct labeling. So every morning we're like, yeah, labor. No, not labor, <laughs> not, not fucking like, this is why no one can find it. Um, <laughs> uh, so I'm like, yeah, labia, vulva, clitoris. Because I hate to admit it, but you know, one day she's gonna go on and have sex and just want it to be decent for her, do you know what I mean? Um, what a great note to end on. Um, I'm, I'm genuinely very, so, so made up to be being fingered in the magnet. Um, and yet here I am. Um, I think that's probably why I'm married. Um, have a lovely night, everybody. Take care. Thank you, Williams, ladies and gentlemen.